Assalamualaikum everyone. So today we will discuss about database searches with nucleotide and protein sequences. And just like I'm jumping, previously we have seen that uh, uh, nucleotide and there are separate databases for uh, nuclear sequences, protein sequences, and some of them are primary se uh, uh, sequence databases, and some of them are um, secondary um, uh, sequence databases. <coughs> so secondary sec databases are those uh, which uh, which actually require uh, which um, process some information from primary databases and the information is presented in us in some meaningful way in some uh, and you're presenting your perspective of the uh, primary data. Anyways, so we skill about how many just sequences of the end alignment of the end to uh, get the uh, similarity and identity between the sequences or us may say I'm Similarity based function, functionality we predict as a thing, and the man and machine relationship like what we predict as a thing. So, normally, a frequently used application of a uh, pairwise alignment, which is pairwise alignment, is uh, when we align uh, two sequences, is, uh, is the search for uh, similar proteins or nuclear sequences in sequence database. Uh, with all the dynamic uh, al uh, alignment algorithms, such as those designed by Smith Waterman and Niederman Wunsch. This is too slow to perform on current uh, computers. Instead, uh, heuristic uh, algorithms like uh, BLAST, which is, uh, so uh, we have seen that uh, previously, um, dynamic algorithms are the slower ones, and uh, they can, uh, they, they, they are computationally expensive. So heuristic algorithms uh, like uh, BLAST, which is basic local alignment search tool, um, it was discovered by Alstul and uh, in 1990 are employed. Uh, heuristic methods make uh, assessments to get uh, almost uh, exact results and utilize sequence and alignment step six to make searches in large database feasible. So uh, it is because of uh, these uh, methods that uh, uh, alignment uh, and uh, results from such a large database uh, are, uh, you can say, presented in such a, such a short period of time. So they do not guarantee an optimal alignment, however, but uh, allow for sensitive and uh, fast, uh, sensitive and fast database uh, searches. Uh, BLAST comes in two versions. Uh, one is NCBI BLAST and second is WU BLAST. Uh, both versions are development, uh, uh, based on developments from NCBI. W Blast is uh, actually an alternative uh, modification of NCBI Blast by Washington University, so that is why it is called as W Blast, and it performs slightly better when working with genomic sequences. So, NCBI Blast is more suitable for database searches and is used for uh, far more frequently. So, NCBI, as, as we know, that it is a, a very a big entity, very big organization, and uh, um, it has, uh, you can say many dozens of uh, uh, you can say databases and uh, you can search uh, when you are using blast or you are searching for uh, searches uh, so you are searching databases for similar sequences and zero blast is one of the com most common used tool uh, to execute a meaningful search in a nucleotide or proteins database um, the corresponding algorithm must be chosen from the blast group and this depends on the aim of the search as well as the nature of the queue Sequence. So there are two major factors actually um, when you're searching for uh, some, um, uh, you can say, um, some some similarity in the databases. Um, so these factors are that uh, what is the your aim of your research and what is the, the nature of your query sequence, whether it is a protein sequence or a nuclear sequence. Uh, for example, for, to uh, query a nuclear database with a protein sequence, very Every nucleotide sequence of the database must be translated into all six theoretically possible protein sequences. So this is a, a complexity that we have to follow. That if you have a protein sequence and you want to search for the similarity in the nuclear sequence database, you will have to uh, translate them into all six claims. And uh, and in this way, uh, your uh, results will be returned. Only then uh, can the QD sequence be compared with it. Um, database. This complex process is performed automatically by the algorithm tblast10. 
depending on the nature of the query and the database used, a total of five algorithms are possible, um, which is shown in table 4.1. Uh, so we will show table 4.1 later on. Um, so within the BLAST family of algorithms, uh, SI BLAST, PSI BLAST, uh, which is also called as position specific uh, iterated uh, BLAST, um, which was developed in 1997, and PHI BLAST, which is a pattern hit um, initiated BLAST, which is, was developed in 1988, and uh, BL2 SEC, uh, which is BLAST2 sequence. Uh, which was developed in 1999 by Maiden and Peter Silva are particularly interesting. The algorithm BL2 set uh, carry out, carries out a local alignment of two sequences. PHAE BLAST allows to search for proteins in a protein databases with sequence motifs similar to those of the uh, QD. And a side BLAST is a mixture of a pairwise and a multiple alignment. Um, so this is table 4.1, where different versions and flavors of the BLAST are there. And, there, and uh, you can see what kind of previous sequence that goes into that and what kind of database they search for and, uh, and, and additional remarks accordingly with that. Um, so side BLAST is a mixture of pairwise and a multiple alignments. First, a normal BLAST search is executed with the resulting multiple alignments of it. A sequence uh, profile is constructed, which is then uh, used to continue the search for new sequence until no more are found. So these are some of the steps of the side blast that um, you construct a, uh, first a normal blast search is executed, then you, on the base of those search, uh, you construct a multiple sequence alignments, and then a sequence profile is constructed on the base of uh, those uh, alignments, and the, uh, um, because uh, there will be many regions of interest that will be uh, common or identical. So a profile is the sequence profile is constructed on the base of that, um, which then can be used to continue search for new sequence until uh, there is no, no more sequences found. The interpretation of the result is frequently very difficult and occasionally misleading before sequences not directly related can also be taken into account. So this is one of the, you can say, alarm uh, warning while they're doing these uh, database searches. Therefore, side blast results require uh, careful examination. HMM, which is hidden model models, and, and uh, in uh, 2004, operated in a similar fashion, uh, more slowly but with a greater sensitivity. Um, again, results from HMMs must be checked critically. There are a number of specific uh, species specific blast applications for human microbial and other genomic, as well as for the analysis of uh, expression or immunological. Uh, data or other special cases. So there are different versions of BLAST which are very specialized in this. Uh, either they uh, search for specialized uh, genomes, and they search in the specialized uh, data like expression data or immunological data and so on. So all of them are available at NCDA BLAST. So uh, important algorithms that are uh, used for database searching. Uh, first one is with uh, and, uh, bunch, which is 19 in 1970, and uh, it was one of the most popular uh, dynamic uh, algorithm, a global alignment uh, algorithm that was developed uh, without gap functionality. The method is very time intensive due to its dynamic procedure, and uh, dynamic uh, procedure is the solution uh, to a problem which is broken down into sub problems and the uh, best results then compared. Uh, a local alignment, uh, uh, this is Smith Waterman, is also a dynamic programming solution. and uh, it is, uh, but it is uh, as um, compared to Nidra Mavinch, it is a local alignment and Nidra which was a global alignment. And it a local alignment that was originally developed without gap functionality. The method is very much similar to that of Nidra Mavinch and also time consuming. Then fast A, which is normally called as a FASTA, uh, and it is developed by, uh, it was developed by Pearson and Lipman in 1988. And look, it is a local alignment. Um, algorithm that is uh, very fast due to the use of a heuristic method. Um, the method identifies the short word uh, regions and then uses a dynamic procedure to obtain a gap uh, alignment. Then last, uh, this is a local alignment that can be uh, identified as segments of pairs of constant um, length quickly due to the use of heuristic method. Segments are then prolonged until present uh, preset threshold param uh, parameters are reached. So we set some parameters that, okay, how much uh, the segment should be, if the segment is uh, similar than all, how much of the length it should 
um, you can say per law. Gas is up to 104 faster than semithermal motor man in uh, Gap alignment, uh, gap blast, sorry. And this is also a go, uh, local alignment uh, algorithm that looks uh, only for a single segment pair. Uh, the segment pair is then uh, prolonged by gaps in both directions. The gap blast algorithm is, is three times faster than the ungap uh, blast algorithm. Then uh, pattern hunter, which is uh, which was uh, reported in 2002. It is a proprietary algorithm for homology searching in databases. The pattern hunter is faster and more sensitive than gap blast, and the program was successfully used for annotation of mocks. You know, so these are some of the uh, important algorithms that are used in that, uh, database searching. Um, so uh, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you. Enough, please.